Hello and welcome back to Popful Mail. So, yeah, did a little money grinding, got 31,000. Which, hopefully, should be all I need for this game. wish the gold would speak up. I can't find it if it won't talk to me. Huh. Minor old quest so you bring four gold bullions. I got it. My wife? Yeah, she's waiting for me. But I ain't going home without some gold, no siree. Well, some might say I'm bragging, or maybe it's the mine air. But my wife, Mithya, is the purtiest woman that ever lived. If you're at the great tree, you stop by, you hear? Oh, and tell her old Jasper's gonna be home as soon as he finds some gold. Uh-huh. I wish the gold would speak up. I can't find it if it won't talk to me. Maybe I have to be different people? My wife? Yeah, she's waiting for me, but I ain't going home. Well, okay. Oh. Interesting. That is a uh, slow attack. Say, if you're going by the store, pick me up back a pack of black lung filter packs. <laughs> what the heck is a nice kid like you doing in this hellhole? Good question. Alex has not been too bad lately. Just stuck a vein of rock candy last week. Huh. Try again later. Okay, well... Hmm. Nice! How much did I get? Ooh. Not a bad amount of cash from those. Maybe it's... I gotta go somewhere else before that thing activates? Okay, first off... Oh, you got more gold bullion. Oh, you got even more gold bullion. Oh, you got even more gold bullion. <laughs> I've got so much cash. Or you don't wanna... I wish the gold would speak up. Okay.
does this lead to? One sec. Okay, the map I'm looking at is just improperly labeled. Ah. Ow! Mm. 200 right there. I mean, I don't need, um, like, a ton of cash at this point, but, like, uh, being able to purchase, um, various goods is a good idea. Oh, you got even more gold bullion. Hmm. Fireplace. Oh, hey. Oh, uh, monsters have stormed the sanctuary. Oh, I'm trapped. G -g Get away. Relax. I'm not going to eat you. I am not a monster. Uh, uh, I'm Glug, a dwarf master artisan. Uh, are you sure you don't eat people? You know, uh, I'm mostly fat and wouldn't be very tasty. <laughs> God doesn't eat people. God eats fish. Say, if you're a dwarf, why don't you have a beard? That's the old look. Nowadays, pretty much anything goes. Some of the dwarves don't like it, but I suppose their ways of thinking will eventually die out. Mm. <laughs> well, these days, God runs into many strange elves and dwarves. They even make French people seem normal. Elves? <laughs> you know, I have a good friend who's an elf. Maybe you know him. His name's Slick. Uh. Slick? Slick? This guy's friends with Slick? Oh, so you do know him. That guy's the greatest. He's cool one boy. of the nuttiest fruitcakes I've ever met. How do you stand him? Yeah. Well, maybe you caught him on an off day. He's really very nice. Anyway, enough chit-chat. What can I do for you? Well, can you tell me about the Black Seal? Sure, I know about the legend of the Black Seal. I've read about it on the Great Stone Wall. I once asked Mumbles to explain it to me, but he's not too keen on talk, so all I know is what I've seen on the wall. Mm. And I'm afraid that's not much. Thanks for nothing, chub chub chubbo Gah. Uh. Of course, that last bit I could have gone without. Ow. Yeah, welcome to the 90s. Where, you know, being childish and offensive was considered, like, breakthrough, uh, you know, comedy. Uh, 
Although, you know. Ugh. Oh well. I won't start uh, going on about it. Let's see uh, what we are doing though. Okay. Okay, that brought us down here. Now let's start with healing. 40 gold, thank you. I want to keep four of these, so... So yeah, here are 40,000. Not bad. Okay. Maybe now that I've talked to everybody, you're gonna... The gold would speak up. I can't find it if it won't talk to me. Okay. Well, that isn't doing anything. Maybe the guy that I'm looking at is wrong. Ah, oh, hey. Be careful. Venusio is in there and he's kind of touchy to deal with. Good to know. Let's, uh, drop ourselves a little naughty naughty. Hold it, frog face. Where do you think you're going? Far from your ugly mug, lizard lips. Ha, ha. Everyone's a comedian these days. <laughs> Look, am I getting through to you? This area is closed, off limits, and out of bounds. So scram! Look, you can't pass. I have my orders. I don't, I don't want any trouble, fella, so why don't you just beat it? Hmm. Okay. Okay, now I get to go and... Give the cash to this guy. Okay, finally. What's that? The guards won't let you pass. Yeah. Well, shoot. Don't worry about them. They're as harmless as a couple of tree frogs. But I have to get past that door. Do you know yeah. the way to get around them? A bribe, maybe? Well, there might be one way. No, I don't really remember too good. I've got to keep digging for gold so I can go home. Now... If and I had some gold bars, my life would be so much easier. I might just remember something. He has minor four bars of gold bullion. Oh, my memory just cleared up. The uh -huh. rebel army leader is named Benutolo, or something. Anyway, he likes dwarf handiwork. Try bringing a piece to the guards. I just bet it gets you in. Okay. All 
right, just had to uh, heal everybody up. Annoying, but that'll work. Oh. Well, we know a dwarf working on something, so... Wow, this is just a uh, huge loop type level. so I can uh, <laughs> recover. So this level is a lot of back and forth. Hey again. Oh no, not you again. Yes, guys, here again, Jelly Boy. This yeah. time I want a good Trinket. A trinket? Oh, you mean one of my skilled arts and creations. I'd be happy to give you one. But why do you want one of those? I need one to secure passage through the mine. Give, give, give. Uh, take this one and leave me alone. This is just what I needed. Bye. Got Clug's Mithril Trinket. a uh, dragon made of mithril. And if I want to get down to the bottom fast... That's the way to do it. Grab a little extra healing. Hello. Hello. Listen, you weird little freak of nature. I said you can't pass through. God has a nice dwarf trinket to give to your leader. Go get him. Now, now, now. Bah. All right, then. Wait right here. We can take him. The chief wants to see you right away. Get in there. Oh, thank you. Ooh, very nice. Thank you, peasant, for your oh-so-humble gift. Uh, by the way, I'm Clavadin Clotsnipper, Lethal Biffle, Poopy Woof, and Bun Bun, Antio Kraken Lichter Ratterface, the 14th Feudal Lord of Oderberg. But you can call me Lord Venuncio. God is hungry. Does Lord Venuncio have something for God to eat? <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> Tell me something. You look like a hard worker. Would you like to join our well-fed cause? I huh? can't join you. I'm on a quest with Mail and Tad. Oh, that's such a shame. We could have used your help recovering the treasure. T -t 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 treasure? 
Yes, you see, we of the Rebel Army are planning a heist of about three tons of gold. In fact, there's a strategy meeting taking place very soon. Hmm, too bad you can't make it. Gold makes Mail very happy. Maybe God will surprise her. <laughs> and God can get some gold too. Rich, rich, rich. Gah. Ah, my eager new friend. Right this way. This sounds like crap. The meeting room is just ahead. We'd better hurry. Your Lordship, there's no one here. It's a trap! Run, Lord Venuncio! <laughs> you are so gullible. There's a reward of three million gold on your little group's heads. Oh? Or, didn't you know that? <laughs> you can't expect me to let that go now, can you? God doesn't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't play coy with Venuncio. I know that you are the three that destroyed Bountyville. Muttonhead told me all about you. Uh-oh. Muttonhead is a liar! Lie, lie, lie! Gah. Your pretty little corpses are going to finance my whole revolution! <laughs> but I'm getting ahead of myself. Your fate is sealed. All that's left is for you to die. And, for posterity's sake, I do hope you die gracefully. <laughs> Well, ah, I guess we're in a bit of a trap. When we come back, folks, uh-oh, have a good one.